Hey there, and welcome back. I'm Kristen Galloway, an occupational therapist and certified dementia care specialist. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately from um, comments on my videos and also from clients that I work with one-on-one -on -one, um, about um, individuals with dementia complaining or insulting them or just saying mean and hurtful things. So let's talk about why this happens and the strategies that you can use to um, manage a situation like that or diffuse it or keep it from happening. So um, of course, when someone says something mean um, or complains about your caregiving um, abilities, that's gonna be hurtful, right? That's gonna be upsetting to you, feels like a personal attack. Um, but I encourage you to step back for a minute and try to think about how they're approaching the situation, how they're feeling rather than taking it personally, okay? So don't take it personally. Why do they do this though? Why do individuals with dementia tend to want to attack the people that are the closest to them verbally, you know, with mean words? Um, often it's because they lack the abilities that we have to interpret what's going on in a situation. So they don't have the context, right? Or the memory to be able to help them figure out what's going on. So Here's an example. Um, someone with dementia might accuse you of stealing their wallet. They say, you stole my wallet. Okay, so let's try to figure out what's going on with that situation. In that situation, they only understand that their wallet is gone and you are the only other person there. And so in their mind, their logic is the wallet's gone, you're there, you must have taken it. What they really mean though, and what they're really thinking is, I used to have a wallet, I kept it, you know, it had money in it. I kept it in my purse or my back pocket or wherever the normal place was where they kept it for basically their whole adult life. It's no longer there. They can't find it. And they're angry. They're angry because they want to purchase something right now. Um, they feel insecure without their wallet, right? They feel a loss of independence or any other number of things. But what they're feeling is, is anxious and they're angry, okay? So as caregivers, we have to step back and try to figure out why are they lashing out and how can we help them? So the three things that you wanna avoid doing is avoid correcting them, avoid arguing with them, and avoid reasoning with them. Because those things are just going to escalate the situation um, and it could potentially lead to aggressive behavior, which we want to avoid at all costs. So the things that you do wanna try are to focus on their feelings, their emotions. Try to be empathetic to how they're feeling without paying so much attention to their words. So rather than focusing on the accusation that they're accusing you of stealing something from them, focus on the fact that they're upset or frustrated or angry or sad, right? Um, and then we want to distract them and redirect them to a new activity. So let's go back to the wallet example. You might want to try saying something like this. Wow, I can tell you're really upset that your wallet is missing. Let's go get a snack. And then after we finish our snack, I'll help you look for it. So give it a try. Let me know if it works for you. If you have any other strategies that you've used to diffuse these situations, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you found this content useful and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching.